if you don't have a technical background or a degree but you want to work in cybersecurity, then GRC might be the cybersecurity specialization for you. But even if you're a technical person, GRC is a good specialization because you can get all the benefits that comes with a cybersecurity career, such as high salaries, options for remote work, and career progression into management or even security architecture or consulting without having to do things like shift work or working after hours or working in a weekend. But the main issue with cybersecurity GRC jobs is that they are not always accessible to beginners. There is simply no comprehensive cybersecurity GRC training course in the market that can give you the skills that GRC jobs are asking for. To make matters worse, the certifications that are allegedly claimed to teach you some GRC skills such as ISACA or ISC2, they want you to have five years of professional experience before even be certified. They are multiple choice based exams and they don't give you any tangible skills. They just test you on some of the concepts. I searched hard and I couldn't find a way to help people land their first cybersecurity GRC job, especially individuals who come from different careers such as nursing or accounting or even individuals who already work in IT. GRC seem to be this mysterious inaccessible cybersecurity specialty. I work in consulting in one of the big four consulting firms and we hire fresh graduates every year to work in different areas of GRC. GRC. And I always struggle to recommend training courses for individuals who want to learn more about GRC and progress in their career. And by the way, I'm totally doxing myself in this video. So if you're curious, make sure you watch till the end. Having said all of that, I really want to make GRC accessible for everyone. So I spent the last 12 months working so hard to solve this problem. I wanted to create a cybersecurity GRC training course for individuals who don't have any technical background or a degree and I wanted the training course to take you from being an absolute beginner all the way to landing your first cybersecurity GRC job but not only that I wanted the course to include hands-on practical assessments so you get to practice what you learn and I also wanted the course to be complete so you don't need to do any extra courses or certifications or training outside of this training course which turned out to be a huge undertaking on my end it took a lot of effort but it was totally worth it at the end and I'm so excited to finally show it to you. This is the video breakdown. Let's get into it. Part 1. What is GRC? As a cybersecurity GRC professional, your main job is to advise the business on cybersecurity issues. It's non-technical in the sense that you don't configure the tools, you don't perform ethical hacking, and you don't stop cyber attacks. But you need to understand the underlying cybersecurity fundamental concepts so well that you can talk to technical professionals and then translate technical issues to non-technical business stakeholders and senior managers and even the board of directors. In fact, this is what I do in my day-to-day -day job. I present complex technical issues to CEOs and CIOs and CFOs who don't really know what port in the firewall that I blocked, but they absolutely must understand the cybersecurity risks that affect the business and how I'm going to help them reduce the likelihood and the impact of cyber attacks. So to work in cybersecurity GRC, you need to know what the business needs to manage cybersecurity risk. Those measurements and activities, we call them controls, and those controls usually span many areas of cybersecurity. So I created a comprehensive, complete cybersecurity GRC training that teaches you all of those fundamental cybersecurity concepts from scratch, but from a GRC point of view. Which brings me to part two of this video, GRC Mastery Training Course. Well, the wait is over. The training is called GRC Mastery and you can find it at grcmastery.com. The training is predominantly video-based, so no boring long text to read. There is some text, but it's a very small portion of the course. It's mainly videos of me explaining the concepts. I've done a lot of 
of training courses in my time. I know what makes a training course boring and I know what makes a training course interesting. You can change the speed of the video so you can make it faster or you can make it slower depending on how you prefer to learn. And there are even auto-generated subtitles with each video. I spent a lot of time to make sure that the videos aren't long or boring. These videos are well thought out to give you what you need in an easy to understand manner. There is no ramblings and there is no rants. Those videos are succinct and easy to follow. They are similar to my YouTube videos where I give you what you want without wasting your time. Trust me, I respect your time. The videos are two to four minutes to give you a chance to understand the material and the videos are full of real world scenarios. So no theoretical fluff. The scenarios and the examples of the video show you how things are done in the real world. So when you get to an interview, you can actually answer scenario based questions, which is the opposite of what happens when I interview individuals who memorize a bunch of concepts to pass a multiple choice exam. As soon as I ask a scenario based questions, they fail. So so this course will make sure that you not only understand the concepts but you know exactly how they are implemented in the real world. I summarized 20 years of work experience, learning, doing courses and helping organizations with their cybersecurity problems in one course. This is what I wish I had access to when I was starting out. It could have saved me a lot of time, money and pain and it could have got me to my goal a lot faster. You will get an official certificate of completion once you finish this course and you can share this certificate on your LinkedIn profile or on your resume or CV. It's important to have GRC specific qualifications to signal to employers and organizations that you understand what GRC is but you're also serious about pursuing a career in GRC. I usually get a lot of CVs with a lot of courses that have nothing to do with GRC so the CV tells me that this individual may not be interested in GRC. So making your CV or resume GRC specific is an important step to help you land your first cybersecurity GRC job. And for those of you who are concerned about HR filters and keywords, stay until the end of this video because this course covers that area as well. Here are the topics that are covered in the course. We first do an introduction to GRC to make sure that you understand what GRC is. I even go over things like is GRC boring and what do GRC professionals do? Trust me, I didn't leave a stone unturned. We then go over cybersecurity risk management. This module alone contains more information than the majority of GRC trainings out there in the market. And this is where I introduce the practical assessments. If you've been watching my videos for a while, you know that I always say the best way to learn cybersecurity is through hands-on practical projects and labs. But GRC is a non-technical area of cybersecurity. So should you learn it by only going over the theory and doing multiple choice exams? Or should you look for hands-on labs? Well, the answer is GRC is no exception. You can't theorize your way to a GRC job. It just doesn't work that way. You need to go over scenarios and hands-on problems that simulate what we see in the real world. This is the only way where you can understand the concepts and even remember them. Cybersecurity is not a theoretical field. So in each module, I have a short multiple choice quiz that is fully scenario based, but I also have a practical assessment. The practical assessment is a scenario based for an organization where you help them solve a cybersecurity problem related to the module that you've learned. Then you submit the answer and then you can see the correct answer that I prepared and you can compare your answer to my answer. This is how Master of Business Administration or MBA courses are taught. They use what we refer to as case studies, which is real world scenarios from real organizations. This is what I did for you in this cybersecurity course. I used an imaginary company, but the problems are all real world problems that I've seen with my own eyes. We then go over audit. Again, audit is this mysterious thing and I've even heard cybersecurity professionals talk about audit as if audit is this one narrow thing. It's not. Audit is an ocean and this module will help you understand what we mean by audit. Some individuals also seem to think that GRC is just audit. Again, it's not. It's a lot bigger than that. And by the way, each module within the training course can get you a job on its own. In fact, each module is a specialization on its own. So the audit module can get you a job as an auditor and the cyber risk module can get you a job as a cyber risk professional and the DLP module can get you a job as a DLP analyst and so on and so forth. So this course will open a lot of doors for you. Next module is asset management. In each module I explain to you the concept and then I show you how we use it in the real world.
world, but I also give you something you will not find in any book. I tell you where organizations fail in this area. This is something that you can only learn through experience. So when you get to an interview and even when you land your first GRC job, you will be able to add value quickly because you have that hint sight, you have that experience knowledge through my own experience, which is something you can't put a price tag on. Next, we have identity and access management. If you've ever wanted to specialize in this area and you didn't know where to start, then this is it. Every module in this course starts from absolute zero. So I don't assume that you have any knowledge. And yes, this is a GRC course, but you can't be a GRC professional without understanding things like identity and access management or vulnerability management. Those are non-negotiable cybersecurity concepts. So as a cybersecurity GRC professional, you will not be able to do your job without understanding these concepts. This is why I included them in this course. And then as you see, I go over DLP, cybersecurity detection and incident response, vulnerability management, penetration testing, and even third-party risk management. I've yet to see any training course out there that can teach you skills to conduct third-party cybersecurity risk management, which is again a specialization and a highly paid job on its own. All of those are fairly advanced topics, but I've explained them in an easy to understand manner and I made sure they all include practical assessments to help you apply what you learned. So as I said, this course will open so many doors for you so you can be even something like a DLP analyst or a vulnerability management analyst. All of these are doors that this course will open for you. So there is so much value in this course but that's not even the best part at the end of the course there is a capstone project this is where we will put everything we learned together in one big project this is the final boss in the capstone project you will design an end-to-end -end cybersecurity program for an entire organization you will use the NIST cybersecurity program and you'll get to conduct what we refer to as a maturity assessment so you will assess the current cybersecurity posture of the organization you will find the gap and the problems that this organization have and then you will propose a solution to this organization. This is a fairly senior task that's usually performed by senior consultants, cybersecurity directors, cybersecurity managers and even chief information security officers. When you get to the capstone project you will be more than capable of solving this problem on your own and as I did with every module you'll get to see how I solve it as well. So you can compare your solution and you can learn even more. Trust me this capstone project alone could have been its own training course. There is a training institute here in Australia that claims to teach you the NIST cybersecurity framework in two days and they charge you $3,000 for that training alone. But the sad part is that the course is taught by an individual who have never worked in cybersecurity and I'll just leave it at that. So you can see how low the standard is when it comes to GRC yeah. but all of this will change. And there is a bonus module in the course but I will come back to it later in this video. Video. which brings me to pricing I've done a lot of training courses this course is worth a lot more than the current price that I've given this course the price and everything you need is in the website grcmastery.com I created this course to help the community and I wanted to create something that I didn't have when I was starting out but I've also dedicated my life to this industry and this is my way of uplifting the standard in the cybersecurity industry I've seen the current state of GRC and I'm not happy with it but not only that I've also wanted to make GRC accessible to everyone. We need more people in GRC and it's not a technical field yet. So you don't need to do degrees or all of those technical certifications. So my goal of this cybersecurity GRC training is to help you land your first cybersecurity GRC training course without wasting time and money on technical certifications and courses that have nothing to do with GRC. So to make the course more accessible, I priced it a lot lower than what it's actually worth. But this is not a free training and this is not a quick 50 bucks introduction class. This is a well thought high quality cybersecurity training that it's worth every penny. Which brings me to part three of this video. Should technical people do this course? If you want to do a technical cybersecurity career like ethical hacking, digital forensics, or if you want to be a security engineer, then the best way to do that is by following the other roadmaps that I have on this YouTube channel. This training course is for those who want to do non-technical 
technical work in cyber security. So this course will not make you a security engineer or a penetration tester. But if you want to be a more well-rounded cyber security professional and you want to understand the business side of cyber security, then this course will help you with that. In fact, I have friends who are quite senior. They are security architects and cyber security managers and they've already signed up to do this course because they have some gaps in their knowledge. So you might be good in one area, but perhaps you don't know what penetration testing is or you have gaps in your knowledge when it comes to identity and access management. So this course will make sure that you don't have any gaps in your knowledge. It will give you that holistic view of cyber security. But the main reason why a technical cyber security professional will want to do this course is if they want to progress to something like security architecture or security consulting or if they want to become a manager or perhaps a chief information security officer. This course will help you with that because it will give you that risk management and audit and all the other business side of cyber security. But I will reiterate if this is a non-technical course so if you just want to be a security engineer or a penetration tester, then please don't do this course expecting it to be technical because it's not. Which brings me to the most important part of this video, part four, getting a GRC job. I've helped hundreds of individuals from all over the world land their cybersecurity job for free through this YouTube channel. I've even helped more individuals through my day job by mentoring them and helping them progress in their career. So I know what I'm talking about when it comes to landing your first cybersecurity job because I've done it so many times. Times. And on a weekly basis, I post success stories from individuals from all over the world. So I created an entire bonus module as part of the GRC mastery training course that will help you be job ready. It will show you all the keywords that you need to use to search for a GRC job. And I even included this a resume or a CV template that includes all the juicy keywords that we look for in GRC jobs in that CV. So you can simply copy paste it and that can be your resume. But that's not all. I have big plans for this course. I'm gonna make sure that everyone knows about this course and I'm planning to make a lot of noise. So trust me, people will know about this course, leave it with me. Now, if you've done this, the Google Cyber Security Certificate or CompTIA Security Plus or the Microsoft Cyber Security Analyst or even ISC 2CC, those are all good certifications that can be done in addition to this course. Now, you don't need to do them, but if you've already done them, then the concepts that you've learned in those certifications will make a lot more sense when you do this training course because I will show you how these concepts are used in the real world. This way everything will make sense and you will even be able to remember all of those concepts. But as promised if you do this training course you don't need to do any additional certifications or training courses or projects. This will be enough to help you land your first cybersecurity GRC job. So go to grcmastery.com make sure you read the course description and there is a section called frequently asked questions so make sure you go over that and if you still have more questions please leave them in the comments below and I'll make sure to answer.